sponsored by 666bet.com. Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, in association with Macklin's Gym, Marbella and 666bet. That sounds like the devil. Oh, yeah. They're good people, though. I'm just saying, 666, devil. Yeah, you know about the devil, don't you? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> uh, end of this month, uh, the big grudge match between Billy Joe Saunders and Chris Eubank. I can't uh, wait. I can't wait. I'm actually looking forward more to that than I am to Tyson Shizora. Um, I, I don't know why, I've just got a funny feeling. I might be wrong, man, but I've just got a funny feeling. There's something just, gonna, just, there's something just not going to happen there. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It might, there might be a banana skin. I don't know if, if I, I don't know if it's, if it's going to live up to the to the to to what we expect or what they're trying to say we're going to get. But for some reason, Taj Shizora. I don't know. There's something I've got a funny feeling about. I don't know. The one I'm looking forward to on that bill is uh, uh, Eubank Jr. Uh, Billy Joel. That's going to be a wicked fight. What are we to make of Chris Eubank Jr.? He's had two fights less than Billy Joe Saunders, and if you compare them on paper, Billy Joe Saunders has won everything he could have won yeah, uh, yeah. up into a world title. Yeah. And uh, Chris Eubank has had two fights less than him, but level of opponents haven't been yeah. near to oh, Billy Joe. Oh, this is the testing time for both fighters. Uh, I think Eubank Jr. is better than his dad was at this stage in his career. Um, the reports you get about Eubank Jr. in regards to sparring, uh, the guys he's sparring with, Every report is like top draw. The kid's on fire, the kid's fast, the kid's strong. You don't see the punches coming, you just hear him land. Everybody, and these are with people that you sparred with and people that have watched it. No negative uh, reports. So it's like what we've seen is probably the tip of the iceberg. Uh, and that's why people rate him. People in the boxing fraternity rate him because they know what this kid can do. Um, I rate him. I do rate him. I, I just I think he's something special. I think Billy Joe Saunders, uh, class act. Uh, good boxer, uh, good fast hands. This is a fight that it could happen. It'd be better off happening down the line than happening now because it'd be big either way. Uh, but it's a, a big risk at a, an early stage when he really didn't have to do it. Now I just don't think they could have cap they could have capitalised on this a little further down the line. But I'm so glad they're doing it. It's a fight fans dream. Um, this is also a final eliminator for. The title that Andy Lee and Korobov are fighting for. Yeah. Um, I mean, Billy Joe Saunders has sort of gone through the belts and gone through the, the sort of steps up and that. But Chris Eubank might find himself in a situation where he beats Billy Joe Saunders. He's in, in deep water. He's, he's in line for a world title. Is that right? Is well, wrong? well, yeah. And but has he got clever the matchmaking? Where did you put it? Well, I don't know. But you see, they've got to think to themselves if, if that is the case. Yeah. Does he grasp the opportunity, or does he step back and say, "I'm not ready yet"? Uh, and just hovers around on the edge to, to you know, he's in the top ten. He gets himself in the top ten. He always arrives on the edge because he's not. I don't think at this moment in time he's got. He's not got the experience to perform uh, 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 consistently uh, for a long time as a world champion because he needs the experience. Uh, and, and neither is Billy Joe. So unless uh, you're feeding pumpkins, uh, you, you, you know, these guys can't be talking about getting uh, unification matches yet because they've not got the experience. And the thing is, once you become world champion, you've got to fight anybody and everybody, you know, and, and the unification matches, uh, unification fights is what all fighters crave to get. Uh, so, so you've got to think, you know, this, this, this takes some serious, smart matchmaking once one of them box for the world title and if they win. We know you don't sit on the fence. Unless you're back home somewhere. <laughs> you got a fence in your garden? Yeah, man. White picket fence. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not white, I don't paint it. Do you paint as well? You don't understand, like, I'm a farmer at home, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, we know you don't sit in the fence, so who are you picking for this fight? Uh, I don't want, listen, if I don't pick one man, it doesn't mean I don't like him, it just means I think the other one's going to win. Uh, I like Billy Joe Saunders, I think he's a, a, a slick ass fighter. But I'm going for Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, I think Chris is just a future star. I, th I can see Chris getting in with the girl down the line, grows down the line, uh, uh, and giving all these people hellfire. And you'd think, wow, this is going to be a good fight. I just can't see that future with, with Billy Joe. I might be wrong, and it's nothing personal against Billy Joe, because I like him. Uh, and I like his style. He's got, he's got good fast hands. He's a good boxer. Um, but I just, I'm excited about Eubank Jr. All right, Johnny, thanks for talking to IFL TV. We'll let you crack on with your work. Yeah. The Big Fight. 
Sponsored by 666bet.com.